Today we are going to discuss a very important concept in C programming known as arrays. Now arrays are very often asked in examination and in placements as well. So let's start. So as you can see in the image, there's a row house. All the houses are similar to each other and they are adjacent to each other. So arrays we can very well understand similar to row house. So what are arrays? Arrays is a single name for a collection of data items put together. It's a homogeneous data structure. That means all the data structure have the same data types. And it is ordered. Now by ordered, we mean to say that data must be stored in contiguous memory locations like we see in the row houses, one after another. Also, each of the row houses may have their own numbers. So in case of arrays also, the numbers are indexed and for that indexing purpose, we use subscript. So we can have like array 0, array 1, array 2 and so on. So what we have uh, understood by now that there are no array variables in C, only array names. So array is a name which is basically a combination of multiple elements put together. Number two, we cannot change address of array, but we can change the array elements. The address is allocated by operating system, so we, we are not concerned with the address and we don't want to change the addresses also. It is not possible. But we can change the values of the array elements. And thirdly, till now we have been used to like access the array elements in the form of like a square bracket 2. But there are other ways of accessing array elements as well. You can access like 2 square bracket inside we can write a. We can also access value add that asterisk. You must have heard about asterisk in pointers. So value add then Inside we can write 2 plus a or value add, I can write a plus 2 as well. So all these values are equivalent. So I can access the elements of the arrays using any of these four values. Okay. These are some facts about arrays, some interesting facts. Loops are very often used in arrays. So when it comes to like taking input in arrays, we use loops. When it comes to like processing, when it comes to like output, we use loops. Array of, uh, the size of the array must be a constant integer value. It must be integral value, it cannot be like float. You cannot declare the size of array as a float. Random access data structure. It's a random access data structure. You must have used, if, if you have used a linked uh, list by now, it's not random access. It's sequential, but array is random access data structure. The first element is at index zero. On the other hand, the last element is size of the array minus one. So if we have n as the size of the array, then last element is n minus one. Okay. So let's get on with some more concepts of array. So we have by now understood that, okay, there is array name, which is like in our case, ARR, then under square bracket, we can write N plus as well, N plus two as well. Now N plus two is what? Is the index, which is also called the subscript. Now subscript can have a value. Subscript can also have an expression as well, which can be evaluated to a value. Next, so we have uh, the array name and the index uh, combination that is ARR n plus 2 and together this is what together this is the element or the subscripted variable okay and lastly we can assign the value to the element like in our case we are assigning 32 to the value ARR n plus 2 so uh, these all concepts will be using in uh, arrays so for example, this is uh, one of the most simple examples of arrays. It's a program where we are trying to find the average of n numbers. So we have taken a loop, 
and we have asked the user to enter the number user has uh, given the numbers and when we are scanning the numbers side by side we are also doing what we are we are doing the summation of the numbers which the user is entering and when the loop has ended finally we are printing the sum of uh, the average of the n numbers okay so now let's get on with some uh, typical problems of arrays uh, placement questions are basically typical one not easy ones so these are one of the questions which has been asked in placement like what is the output of the c program where arrays and pointers uh, are given like we have uh, the size is defined but a size and size has been defined before the a array has been declared and that is four okay thereafter we see that we have been uh, initializing uh, the values of different elements of the arrays like a0 is 5 a1 is 6 a2 has been assigned to 7 and a3 has been assigned to 8 now the question says what will be the output of this so we have already discussed that uh, not only we can access the elements of the arrays using square bracket we can have also access through pointers so like we have value at a plus 2 so this will also give the value of uh, the array so the output would be you guessed it right the output would be 7 and 6 why because variable size is already defined so it will run and a size is allowed so a value at a plus 2 will be what will be equal to the a2 okay so because it is equivalent so we'll have uh, uh, values which will print 7 and 6 let's take another question the question is what will what is the output of c program with arrays so here we find that we have uh, array which is defined can you guess what will be the output of this program see it has been uh, the values have been declared inside the square bracket and then thereafter we are printing the value yes you guessed it right so it will show compiler error why because array should be declared and defined within the square brackets here we have defined the round bracket okay so it's a compiler error okay question number three in c if you pass an array as an argument to a function what gets actually passed so the options are values of elements in the array first element of the array base address of the array or address of the last element of the array so we whenever we are passing the array the address which is passed is the base address base address is the starting point of the address okay so that gets passed and we can pass an array as a function argument also if we are passing the base address the complete array is passed in the function okay next one so here we see that uh, uh, we have declared one array integer a the size is 5 and the values are being given 5 a 15 20 25 okay and thereafter we have uh, integer i j and m now we have i is equal to plus plus a 1 okay and j is given as a 1 plus plus so we have pre increment and post increment both okay m is equal to a i plus plus and finally we are printing the value of i j and m so what will be the output now i want all of you to pause this video and take your copy and pens and calculate it and then when you have done it compare your results with the results which i am going to tell you the results are 3 2 and 15 if you are still not able to get it you need to know that okay the post increment and pre increment concepts you need to have in order to solve this question so i is equal to plus plus a so values of a will be incremented and then it will be initialized to i whereas in case of j the value of a1 is initialized and then thereafter the values are incremented because it's a post increment okay so we'll finally have the answer as 3 2 and 15 
ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंटीजियो मेन हेयर वी फाइन दैट इंटीजियो एरे वन ओके एरे वन इज इक्वल टू टेन नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट यूजिंग जीरो एंड अंडर स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट है सो वट इट विल प्रिंट येस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सो एंसर इज टेन बिकॉज वी कैन यूज दिस फॉर्म ऑफ प्रिंटिंग एज वेल ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट अबाउट एन एरे द एरे इज इंटीजियर नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स कैन स्टोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एलिमेंट्स द एक्सप्रेशन नंबर वन डिजिग्नेट्स द वेरी फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इन द एरे इट इज नेसेसरी टू इनिशियलाइज द एरे एट द टाइम ऑफ द डिक्लेरेशन एंड नंबर फोर द डिक्लेरेशन नम साइज इज अलाउड इफ साइज इज अ मैक्रो The question is, which of the following statements are correct? So, if you want more time, pause the video and think for a while. Here is the answer. One and four. The answer is one and four. Why? The one is inte the array integer number twenty six. That means size is twenty six. So we can store twenty six elements from zero to n minus one, which is zero to twenty five. And thereafter, number four, we can see the declaration num size is allowed if size is a macro. So even if the size is a micro, you can define it before the main uh, function. We can still have it. Okay. Next question: A pointer is a block of memory uh, is effectively same as an array. So pointer uh, is same as an array true or false the answer is true it is possible to allocate a block of memory of arbitrary size any size at run time using the standard libraries malloc function and treat it as an array so we can do that the answer is true what will be the output of the c program where we have another question where integer main we have given array and the size and the uh, elements which have been initialized in the array is 2 3 4 1 and 6 now the question says what will be the output of the array so we here we have used percentile u percentile u and percentile u three times and we are given arr and then we have given address of arr 0 and lastly we have given address of arr so what will be the output so the output will be same no not necessarily you'll have 1200 because 1200 is uh, suppose it was when it was running on my system it was giving 1200 as address it will differ from system to system but in all the three cases it is having what the same address because arr the name of the array holds the base address address of arr 0 the zeroth element the first element is on the base address itself and arr address of that means again address of the array which is the base address so in all three cases we'll have the same output okay one more question is there any difference in the following declaration integer fun and we have integer array and there after integer fun we have integer arr and under square bracket we are given two okay so argument list is differing the answer is no both the statements are correct it is the prototype for the function fun we know that whenever we use a function we declare the function first so both the lines are what prototype function prototypes and accepts one integer array as the parameter and returns an integer value so it is uh, accepting the array as a parameter and returns an integer value in both the cases it is returning integer value so both uh, are correct okay okay let x be an array which of the following are illegal number 1 x++ number 2 x+1 and number 3 x multiplied by 2 so here we can see the answer is a and c are illegal so because it is a pointer 
uh, we cannot be it's an address array is an address we cannot have all these uh, equations like x plus plus or x multiplied by 2 but we can have x plus 1 that means shift to the next address shift to the next address and so on okay so that's all about uh, arrays uh, hope uh, you found the video very useful uh, so you need to practice these kind of questions for placements thank you and happy learning